Paul from Derivan and today we're going to have a look at creating some acrylic skins out of a whole different range of products and basically that range of products is varnishes or gel mediums that we might be used to using within the painting but what we're going to do is create some sheets of acrylic with them which we can then incorporate into a painting or combine as a painting. So what we've got is some document sleeves and just use cheap document sleeves because they will peel off there easier. So we're gonna use some self-leveling medium and we're gonna create a big sheet of acrylic and just add some coloring to it using some ink and we're gonna add some glass beads into this layer. So they'll set within that sheet itself. <laughs> So the next acrylic skin we're going to make is using MM6 Polymer Matte Varnish. So the same method, but just different product. And now we're going to try some MM7, which is Polymer Gloss Varnish. And again, same scenario. Now our acrylic sheets have dried, let's just recap on what we used. So the first one was MM7, polymer gloss varnish, with a little bit of ink added. The second one was MM6, polymer matte varnish, with some ink added. And then the next one was MM4, some gel medium, and that's got some ink added. And we can see with the gel medium, there's just a little bit more edge to it. So it has little mounds or ridges through it. And then we've got some MM37, some self-leveling, and we've added some ink and some glass beads. Now, we're gonna create a full mixed media here, so we're gonna use some Matisse fluid, some Matisse structure, and some Matisse ink added back into it. Now, because we made these on these plastic sheets, look at how easily they peel off the backing. So we can strip each of those back, cut them up and incorporate them. And when we incorporate them or join them into the painting, we're gonna be just using polymer gloss varnish. All right, so let's give it a go. So as you can see, we've got some really cool and interesting shapes here. And because we're going to do it in mixed media, we need to be able to secure those to it in a pure form. And what we're going to use is MM7 Polymer Gloss Varnish. And this is really good because we can use it not only as a varnish, but as a gluing agent. So what that means is that the acrylic sheets are going to actually bond together really, really well. Now, we can move these round and change them and adjust them as much as we want or as little as you want and then once we're satisfied with the shapes and the placement we can then start to glue them down and after gluing them down we're then going to add the mixed media content so let's just see So I've glued those down and we should wait till they dry off a little bit. I'm gonna head straight into it. If you've got time, let it dry. If not, just play with it. Um, now I'm happy with where they're positioned. We're gonna add some other pieces into it. I'm gonna use fluid, first of all, just to give us a little bit of line work to it. Then I'm gonna add some inks and some structure.
So there we have it. A really fun mixed media that's got lots of different bits and pieces in it. Remember we've used some acrylic sheets stuck down with polymer gloss varnish. We've used some Matisse ink. We've used some Matisse fluids. And we've also used some Matisse structure there. You can really add or subtract whatever you like. So have a bit of fun and enjoy that. Happy painting.